Hey everyone, happy Monday. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today we're gonna to be talking about Toggle Track. Toggle Track is a productivity app that you can use to press start and stop to record your daily activities in the day. So in this video, I'm gonna start off by talking about why time tracking is even important in the first place. Uh, my own experience with time tracking and my own experience with Toggle, the app. And then I'm gonna be taking you on, on a walkthrough of the app, showing you some of the functionalities that I really like. So if you want just that part, skip ahead, of course. If you're new, if you're not interested in my stories, of course, just skip ahead. I'll link in the bio the time marker for that. To start this video, I'm gonna talk about why time tracking is even important, but I can't tell you why keeping track of your time is important. Maybe you have schoolwork or a job or an internship or some other project that you kind of wanna, wanna keep track of and keep a hold on. I think that tracking my time that I spend on certain areas of my life increases my productivity. And for increasing productivity, I, I think step one is you know scheduling out on Google Calendar. Some of you may already do that. But step two, I think, is really understanding how much time you're spending on a certain area and, 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 and kind of maximizing that productivity so that you can maximize your time that you're working on something. So time tracking is important kind of to studying your mode of working, your working style. If I check one week that I spent 27 hours on schoolwork and then I can look at what assignments I did that week and I, I can kind of gauge uh, on my own internal pacing like how efficiently did I work? Did I spend a lot of time doing this one thing that I, I should have translated to another area. Another thing I really like about time tracking is knowing just really quick that I can go and look up how much time I spent specifically on this one certain thing. This is why I really track my time is if I'm working for an employer or a client, I wanna know exactly how much time I'm spending on that. Last week, I, I was working on a, a newsletter project for one of my positions at my school. I, I'm a student employee, I work hourly, and I do all these different kind of jobs. And my employer asked me, Bruce, how much time did you spend on the newsletter this week? How much time did you spend on that specifically? Now, if I was just looking at my time that I was clocked in and clocked out, then I, I, I wouldn't be able to give kind of an accurate representation of what I did unless I remembered something from two weeks ago. And I said to him, we were on a Zoom call, let me check, 30 seconds, I go on toggle, I scroll down, I go to uh, the project, I go to newsletter, and I see exactly, I spent two hours, 31 minutes on this. So I know the exact time to give him. And that way we can be more efficient with our projects, right? I got toggle about seven months ago. And this kind of correlated with the virus and everything shutting down. Right, I live in Portland and I go to Portland State University, so everything turned online and I didn't have any work coming on. And I'm someone that always likes to keep busy, I like to keep working, and all of a sudden I was just out of a job, out of work, sitting there. And I came across Toggle because I wanted to keep up with that work mentality. So I said to myself, even though I'm unemployed, I'm still gonna stay in that work mode at least eight hours a day on weekdays, right? I would try to do different projects or try to read different books or try to do different courses online. And I wanted to track that. I wanted to see how much time I was spending on all of those things. And at the end of the day, I wanted most of all to add up my time and make sure that I was working at least eight hours a day. I wanted to keep myself accountable to the time that I was tracking. If you're a true fan, you stuck with that boring story, but now comes the third part, the walkthrough of Toggle, right? So if you're here just for that, here we go. Let's bring the computer up. By the way, sorry about my microphone. It's just right here sitting on my computer. It's a Zoom H4n. You notice sometimes I have a lavalier, but uh, just couldn't get one in time. Okay, I don't have a, a stand for the mic yet. My bad. Toggle, we'll go through toggle. Oh, I've got one thing going right now. And actually I'm filming, I'm not project planning. I forgot to change that. So this is the actual interface, right? This is where I enter in my different kind of tasks, my various tasks. But here's what I really like about Toggle. I really like the ability to look back on the week and see what I accomplished kind of on a macro scale because we can kind of get bogged down by the minutia of, of little tasks in the day. And a, a lot of times I'll ask myself or uh, people will ask me, well, you know, what did you do today? Or what did you do yesterday? Well, I don't really remember. I, I'm just focusing on kind of, I was just doing schoolwork half an hour ago and I don't really remember what I was doing yesterday at, at noon time after lunch. I just really love to see a nice clean graph. Bar charts, 
bar graphs, anything. I really just like to see this kind of thing right here, right? So I've got kind of all my tasks organized here. You'll see I've got a few different, you know, everything here that says PSU dash something is a different entity that I work for at Portland State University. But then we've got some uh, kind of freelance things here. This is another job. Uh, this is uh, just kind of a passion project. This is my schoolwork, and this, of course, is YouTube, right? And everything that's work-related, right, everything that I'm getting paid for uh, is in red. So I just can quickly look at this bar chart and see, all right, my work here, my work here, my work here. I'm not showing you this just to kind of talk about my schedule, but more to talk about the functionality of, of what kind of things you can start to see in Toggle and start to see about your own work, right? So. Okay, we have the reports. Let's move on to the insights. Now, I don't have anything for insights. You can also use Toggle as a kind of business portal. You can have multiple members of your team on Toggle to see what everyone is doing and kind of culminate. So, so versus using Toggle as a personal time tracking app, you can use it as a business app. And, uh, and, and this is kind of what Toggle uh, Insights is for. Now projects, you can see all the different projects you've got here. And it's really easy to create a project. You go to new project for YouTube and uh, pick the color, workspace. Uh, these are different workspaces. So if you have a personal and you have a business one, uh, client, you can pick a client. Um, YouTube, right, is, is my client today. Great project, I don't actually want that. I'll go back and delete it later. Clients, you see all the clients you have here. I have PDX Business School and PDX Alpha Chi Omega Sorority. Team, if you have anyone on your team, I don't. It's just me. Tags, uh, I, I don't use the tags. And in settings, you see uh, there are all these things I can't really change here because I just have the free version. If I had the paid version, uh, I'd probably be able to look into it more. That's kind of not really information that I know of just because I use it personally. Great, well, thank you everyone for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed this little video. Uh, I just kinda wanted to do a little demo through this app that I really enjoy. And I think it's very important to being efficient and productive uh, is, is knowing how much time you're spending on things, right? The various projects that we're all working on in our lives. So thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you uh, next time. And if you're finding value in these videos, uh, make sure to comment and, and, and tell me what, what sort of things you'd like to see as well. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.